Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys what's on my iPhone. I have the iPhone 11 Pro, I'm pretty sure. I'm honestly not that sure, but I think it's what it is. I've had this iPhone for like coming up on two years. It's been great to me, I love it. I just recently got the ISO 16 upgrade, so I've been messing around with it a little bit and I decided it was time to do a what's on my iPhone. So here it is. I'm gonna start screen recording and put my phone on Do Not Disturb. Okay, the first thing we have is my wallpaper and the widgets I've added is basically just the weather and the calendar and I just have like a regular time thing, but when I open it, the first thing you see on my home screen, I'd like customize the little app icons, like the shortcuts and stuff. So I have just my FaceTime, phone, calculator, settings. Then I have this little Pinterest widget. I love the Pinterest widgets, so cute. I have this one set to fall, I think. I have most of them set to fall, and then a few other ones, I don't know. I honestly change it out throughout the day, depends the vibe. Then I have my camera, my photos, maps, app store, just the basics, notes, clock, weather calendar. And this is the most aesthetic that this is gonna get because I tried customizing it and I got halfway through. And I was like, yeah, I'm done. So this is kind of all over the place to be honest. But at the bottom I have Safari, Messages, and then Gmail. I didn't want to change these app icons because when you do that, you can't get notifications and it doesn't pop up on the thing. So I like keeping those, especially for my messages and emails. I need to be on top of those. So I just kept those as is. I do have five few emails I need to look through, but we're gonna ignore it for now. <laughs> then on the next page, I have my calendar widget. I don't know, sometimes it's good to remind me the day that it is, you know? And then I have have Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, which go follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. I basically just use Twitter to figure out what's going on in the world. Probably not the best way to do that, but especially when I'm watching like, I don't know, a basketball game. It's mostly for like celebrity stuff, like finding out what's going on with them because I'm so behind on pop culture. I cannot keep up for the life of me. So I mostly go on there every once in a while and then I'm like, oh, like what's going on? <laughs> and then I find out. Then I have YouTube, Goodreads, which Go follow me on Goodreads. I love this app. I don't know if that was. Here's where I log all the books that I have read or want to read. I've read 26 books so far out of my 30 books that I want to read this year. So I think we're going good. I think we're going good. Um, then I have Spotify, Pinterest, and then I have this thing called a structured widget, which is this app that I have that basically helps me keep track of, like what I want to do in a day. It's like time blocking, but in an app, so I don't have to do it like by hand. And I literally do this on my way to school. It's super helpful in order to keep me organized. Right now, Susan's supposed to be doing homework, but we're gonna we're gonna ignore that. It's fine. And I have my Spotify widget. Actually, I should change this one with my calendar now that I'm looking at it because I haven't been using the calendar one. I use Spotify a lot more. <laughs> anyway, then after that, we have Duolingo, Messenger, Minecraft, and Roblox. I've been learning French on Duolingo. I'm going to checkpoint one, but I haven't mastered everything in unit one, so I need to do that before I can break through to the next checkpoint. But I think I'm doing okay. Then obviously Minecraft and Roblox. Everyone knows what that is. Moving on to the next one. This is where I gave up and you can visibly see that I gave up because there's two apps that have a little icon of its own and the rest of them are just no. So we have Netflix, Disney Plus, which I rarely watch TV on my phone. TV on my phone? I barely use my streaming services on my phone. So that's why they're over here. But then I also have ESPN, the NBA app, because basketball season just started and I'm so excited. It's my favorite time of the year so far. I don't know. It's just a great time. Then I have Indeed. Then I have Be Real. I haven't used that app in like a week, to be honest. I kind of stopped using it. It is what it is. I also have this chemistry app where this should be my school folder. I don't know why it isn't. Why is it on me? <laughs> But yeah, it's been helping me with chemistry because everyone needs help in chemistry. Then I have my editing folder, which is basically just Fonto YouTube Studio, which is an app for creators like to check on the channel and reply to comments and stuff like that. I have Pixar. I have TubeBuddy and YouTube Tracker, which helped me track my progress to monetization basically. Fonto and Pixar are just the apps I use to make thumbnails and then TubeBuddy is another thing that I use for my analytics on YouTube. Then I have my shopping tab. I should move this one farther away. It should have its own screen because this is this is a dangerous folder. I have Amazon Hollister, Fetch Rewards, which I'll put my code up on the screen if you want to join. But basically you scan receipts and you get money back, like points back, and you can turn the points into money. I've gotten a $50 gift card from Amazon off of there, so it's legit. It took me a while to get it though, just because I was really inconsistent with when I was scanning receipts and stuff like that, but it's a cool app. Um, I just keep it there and whenever I have receipts, I scan it. Then I have the Target app, Shein. I literally, I haven't been on that app in a while. To be honest, I don't know why I still have it, but moving on. I have Chase, which is like my bank. I have Offer of Dutch Bros. 
I love Dutch rose. I want some right now, actually. I'm gonna use it as motivation to get up early tomorrow to go get some. I have Tilly's, I have the wallet app, the apple store app, the iRobot thing for our little Roomba. It's not a Roomba, is it? Maybe it is. I'm gonna have a Roomba and I use it to control that sometimes. I have Etsy, Go, Game Time. I don't know if Game Time, I just use it for all my concert and sports events tickets that I wanna get. They usually have the cheapest prices for the best seats. So whenever I wanna go somewhere, I check on there. I have ASOS, Depop, and Apple, and that's it for my shopping folder. Moving on to school, I have Google Drive, Google, Raise Me. If you don't know what Raise Me is and you're in high school, I recommend that you get this right now. It helps you with micro scholarships. If you want to go to college, you could literally be doing things that will give you hundreds of dollars towards your college that you don't even know about. Like These are just things that you do. If you get good grades in school, enter them and you get money back. So honestly, the bare minimum, I'll link it down below, all my codes for apps and stuff, I'll link it down below so you can get either points or stuff when you sign up for these apps. So do that. I promise you, if you don't like it, you can delete it, but it really helps. It also has helped me discover colleges and puts your name out to different colleges, like the amount of college mail that I've gotten because of this app, so I recommend. Then I have student meetings, this is just for school, to check my grades and stuff. I have Life360, so my mom knows where I'm at, classroom, five star, which I used to upload my notes. I shouldn't do that. I used it for like the first three weeks of school, and then after that I was like, mm. I have Google Slides, Google Docs. Those are like, for when I need to get an assignment done and I'm not near my computer or anything, I use that. It's come in handy many different times. Then I have voice memos. I don't know why that's in here. Um, then I have Calculator X. If you are are taking any sort of math where you need a ti what is it 87 can you a texas instrument calculator this is an app that can give you the same thing for free it has so many things that you can do on there so many different things and it's literally free obviously you can't use this in school or like on your test or stuff but when you're doing homework at home this works it's honestly what i use because i'm not about to spend a hundred dollars on a calculator maybe sometime in the future but not today um then i also have photo math because math has been getting so hard lately I haven't been able to understand what's going on, so that has been a recent download. <laughs> we go to my app library. I don't think there's any apps that I miss. I mean, I have the like utilities apps and all that type of stuff. I have it in a different folder that I just keep. But yeah, that is everything that I have on my phone. Thank you so much if you watched all the way to the end. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on all my socials, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.